Hello and welcome to Big Sky 35. Let's talk. Well, I don't know how I'm going to follow up last week. Uh, I want to thank everybody for uh, all the uh, support and everything for, uh, with the video of my dad. Uh, that meant a lot to me. Um, it also meant a lot to him. Uh, to be honest with you, it's something that uh, kind of uh, what Eric those back pages said a while back about uh, you know just getting on video um, these moments and, and and for yourself and I and I did think it'd be interesting um, to just have a uh, my my father's perspective a little bit um, and meet him we talk up two three times a week uh, you know he lives in Virginia I'm in Iowa and uh, we solve all the problems of the world <laughs> um, but we mostly talk uh, sports mainly baseball but uh, he he really loves football as well I love football too um, you know, I talked about it. We're a Virginia family. Uh, you can see Ralph Sampson back there. Uh, so, um, you know, we're really excited about the Baseball World Series, uh, which is going on today. And I, I did some uh, victoring back here. Old Victor, I like to set up. Um, he took a little bit from me, and I took a little bit from him. Got some of these lights. I'm not done yet. I got a few more to get. Um, I might get something on the ceiling as well uh, for the top shelf there and to uh, highlight the uh, jerseys a little bit better. Um, I have another jersey that will be going over there. It's a Donnie Baseball I've got a few years back at the National. Um, Geesh, that wasn't even the last Chicago one. It was the Chicago one before that. I've had, I've had that one for a while. I need to get uh, in, in, uh, framed up. Um, and I just thought this would be an interesting backdrop um, instead of me just uh, in front of my refrigerator. <laughs> I thought, hey, let's uh, let's get some cards uh, on the screen and. Uh, and do my my autograph wall that I'm working on. It's a memorabilia. I've gotten uh, some on the top is just uh, some bigger cards that don't really fit in things. Uh, some YouTuber stuff. Um, you know, this the uh, oddball stuff. A few packs over there um, that you get from the park at Met Stadium. The Cons base. Uh, the Cons uh, hot dog. Um, I have picked up three different years of that and I'm, you know, just kind of always looking for those. Not, I guess I'm not mentally looking for them with them or, uh, consciously is the word I'm looking for, looking for them. But I, when I see them, I'm like, oh man, I like this. So they're still in the wrapper. Uh, I got them in protection up there. So, and then over here is, uh, my, uh, Pete rookies. And in the top row, some of my some of more special cards, maybe uh, I would say cards that I really like that are graded. Um, I'm looking to get another one of those. I have a one with Gary Carter on the other side of the room. If you've seen my my game room, sports room, I shouldn't say game room. I do have a game room as well, but my sports room. Uh, but I just thought, you know, a little background on why I'm doing this. I just like I always say, it's always a project and working on it. And I like the way it looks. So this might be my background for now on. Thank you, Victor. <laughs> I'm not stealing, I'm borrowing. <laughs> you can have it back. Uh, but uh, with that being said, uh, I guess let's talk cards, I guess. Or, Therefore, I mean, you know, Series 2 came out this past week, and uh, or maybe the week before. I have, you know, you can't find a retail, uh, and I'm not paying. Uh, well, I got, I, you know, I looked at them today. They were down to just above $100 for a hobby box. So they were cheaper than Series 1. I'm sitting there today going, when I was looking, I was like, well, who's even in Series 2 that people would want? But I have also noticed that a lot of the hobby boxes are starting to uh, 
come down a little bit, not grossly, but uh, they're coming down a little bit. Um, this is the biggest one that I've seen that's closer to one and a half instead of two time um, the price. And uh, I, I don't know if I would buy a hobby box at 110 for a series two. Um, I already bought the Mets team set um, and I'll go on and look for some variants and number cards and you know whatever I want uh, with Pete Conforto and DeGrom and uh, you know just go from there uh, you know let me know what y'all think about series two I saw Haas did a opening with a nice autograph I, I didn't you know seen the video yet but I saw he posted he said again just to get an autograph out of a box is, is special um, I did one time out of a jumbo get a Nolan Arenado patch auto. So um, they're there. It's just, uh, man, they're very hard to hit um, any name players. And uh, Nolan Arenado, as great as he is, it's not a big hobby name for whatever reason. Uh, as being one of the great third basemen and great players in the game right now. Uh, but I just, uh, I, I, I haven't seen a lot of excitement for that or any cards uh, for that are new releases in the baseball world. Um, you know, I, people are going nuts over the score football, have at it. I think it's like $300 a box or whatever. Y'all can get it. Um, I don't do football anyway. Uh, I just, I like to look at the prices and giggle. Um, Let's see, I think the big news is still the national happening. I think everybody is so excited about the national. You know, I I was kind of thinking before that some of these other big shows would take away the shine of the national. And I don't think it is. I, I, I'm, I'm wondering how many people are Dallas is going to be a destination show when it's in July this time um, with the uh, national two weeks away, I believe, afterwards. Um, it's going to be interesting to hear about. Uh, I know people that live in that area are not even going, so it's kind of, you know, I made that, how many uh, big shows can we, you know, support? Um, everybody wants to talk about a dip or whatever, correction. I, I, I think correction is a better, um, term and for me and I, you can pick whatever and you won't be wrong i don't care what you call it um i just think everybody the world opening up that money is going to other things now and uh and and not going just sitting at home to your whatever hobby or whatever you're doing to pass the time you know movie theaters are open ball fields are open little league is opening i mean kids are playing you know people are getting out of the houses on a regular basis in groups freely no masks uh you know there is i don't know about you but for me it's still in the back of your mind like you know you're looking around you're seeing all the people and you're like man are we really out of this or is this just a uh a lull or i hope we are um but you know, I'm going to enjoy it while I can. I have my vaccination. I've said it before. Um, you know, but these next few weeks, I, I think in July, there's, I was looking at like the, you know, card schedule. Um, you can find it on Beckett.com, uh, Cardboard Connection. There's a couple other ones that list like card shows where people put their card shows out there. And, uh, I think July, every weekend, there is a large show, um, starting with Chantilly on the first weekend, then the Dallas show, um, the, the one in Des Moines, I keep throwing that in because that's in my area, I'm going, it's the week before, 200 plus tables, signers, you know, I, I, you know, I hope good luck to them, I think they're playing on national being canceled. And then, and then the national, um, 
you know, I'm not planning on really buying anything at that show. Um, but you just never know what you're going to run into when you go to something like that. And uh, I think a lot of those vendors will probably be at the National the next week. It's kind of like a prep for it. And it's Des Moines is four and a half, five hours away. It's maybe a little over five hours from Chicago. So out here in the Midwest, that could be a pretty big um, show. Uh, you know, I, I hope we don't go through a little fatigue here, uh, running out of gas at the end of the summer. Um, you know, a lot of people have said it, and I concur. When you go to the National, you're going to see an uptick in football because uh, preseason will be starting up. Um, I think even the games will be starting up. Maybe the Hall of Fame games right around the corner. I think while we're there. Um, and then, you know, I, so usually it's a little up kick in that there. And then, you know, baseball's in, you know, you're in the summer grind then. So you kind of know who's doing what, uh, what players. Every year there's usually a big baseball player that's been called up, you know, either first half or closer to the midseason that kind of, everybody's looking for. I know one year when I went, it was Carlos Carrera. One year it was Juan Soto, um, Acuna, uh, same year. Uh, so that's always fun, just hearing the buzz. And I do think this one's going to be crazy uh, and fun. So, you know, I, I, when it gets closer, I'll, I'll put out, I, I, won't, I ain't going to, I've done a uh, what to do at, you know, what I do at the National, a little handbook on whatever, uh, what I do at the National. And if, please, if you have any questions, this is going to be, by any means, I'm not a veteran. Um, actually, I can, Baseball Collector has a very good one for beginners or first timers uh, on his channel. Um, I really point you to that. He's been quite a few more than I have. Uh, but it's just the basics and uh you know and i'll talk a little bit about it and i will be there thursday uh hopefully i'll be over at the venue by one uh thursday i come into town a little before 11. it usually takes me a couple hours to get from the airport uh into the hotel and if my room's ready i'll take my bag up if it's not then i'll get over as quicker because i could leave it with the with the front desk there and uh I'll be there Thursday, Friday, all day Friday, all day Saturday, I leave Sunday. My plane leaves at like 4.30, and I did that purposely just to go over Sunday, spend a few hours just to see if there's any, like, deals going on. Because my understanding is they were upset at the last Chicago show, the national people that run it, because on Sunday, air was tables gone. Like, a lot of people clear it out. So I think people are, they're going to, I think you have to stay there if you buy a table, unless you get bought out, um, which one table did get bought out, but uh, I know they were upset at the last Chicago one because of that, so be interesting to see, and just to see if there's any deals. I'm interested to see how they're going to do the box sales, how are they going to, you know, Tops and Panini, they do, you know, pack set, you buy a box, you go to them, redeem it for a pack. How are you going to, with boxes being an arm and a leg, I can't see them doing that this year. Um, and and I can't see them making the big three or the big, uh, actually, I think there was four there last year. Sell it at um, SRP if they're getting it, if they're paying more than that. So it's all interesting to see. And I just want to see, you know, if it's going to be, I think people are calling us slab again. Uh, <laughs> I think, uh, you know, it's going to be, I hear it all the shows and I've seen it myself. It's smaller ones here, ultra modern and graded. And, you know, graded to me is not bad. Uh, but I, I really don't want to see a bunch of ultra modern. And I hope there is uh, the dollar boxes. I've heard uh, um, Ed. It did a great live on his Philly uh, show experience and a lot that he saw, I have been seeing, not so much the Pelican cases, but the 
uh, kind of the uh, the respect factor. You can tell there's a lot of people that are in it. There's a lot of people that have money in it, and somehow that equals to being, you know, I, I you know, up at this Estron where somebody, you know, like it. Like Ed, I don't know what Ed's finances are, but you know he goes in and buys a hundred dollar card. He probably knows more than the guy just because you got thousands of dollars. You know, just the courtesy factor, um, how people talk to the vendors. He goes over a lot of that. In his I know I'm pointing people to other channels. I have been I, when I was on vacation. I didn't hardly watch any YouTube. Um, I, I wasn't feeling well. Uh, Still not 100%, um, getting better every day. Uh, but I, I haven't seen my family in a year and a half. So, you know, I, I was just kind of spending time with them. And uh, so I've been binging, <laughs> watching baseball with one a YouTube channel or doing stuff. I've been, I told you I got a game room. I've been working on that. I, hopefully I'll have a video of, of showing you my game room. Uh, I, I really, I spent a lot of time in there. That's kind of where some of my hobby dollars have been going since I can't, I can, I'm not going to pay two dimes for boxes. Uh, and the prices of some cards are crazy. So, you know, refocusing and uh, just, you know, going back to things that I, I love as well. But with that, I, you know, a little lost focus, I guess. I'm a little all over the place, but, you know, that's how I am. I like to talk. I just like to throw some things out there, uh, see what people gravitate to. We can have a discussion on it or something I could talk about on the next one. Um, I even may hopefully have somebody with me on the next one. Um, I also got to find out uh, on <laughs> when I'm going back to work, which uh, it could be. Uh, next week um, so and then July 4th there's a lot of craziness going on at work so I'll be working a lot but hopefully I'll have somebody on for next Sunday show so until then uh, please you know when you're at the shows be courteous lead by example you don't have to say anything just lead by example and if you got good horror stories let me know because they're fun to listen to Subscribe, like, share, please leave a comment. Till next time, see ya.